alpha level purifier so only challenge uh, when we are uh, working with alpha level purifier is removing the belt if we need to change the belt in case of any uh, defective belt or uh, something so uh, how we need to remove the belt from the motor that is what we are going to see now so first as usual all uh, safety precautions just uh, do not start boat turn the power off stop the purifier completely and do all these uh, basic safety works and then you have to remove the connections for the purifier motor so after removing the connection motors what we need to do is uh, this motor is always uh, most of the time vertically mounted so we got four bolts which is uh, holding the motor so basically what we need to do is you have to loosen all the four bolts and uh, the design of these holding bolts was like you know little longer bolts so bottom bolts you have to be little slacken than the top one so the top one top two bolts you have to slack more so that if you tilt the motor should uh, bend little more so what happens when we are loosening the top uh, foundation bolts is uh, this motor you can pull it towards yourself and the bottom side where the pulley is uh, holding the belt will go towards the purifier bowl so when it goes inside the belt will get slackened and you can push the belt outside that is what we are doing now using the chain block removing both the top bolt out this is what just when the pulley is towards the purifier the belt will get loosened and you can remove the belt this is the first uh, step for removing the belts in case if you need to change the belts again i am telling all safety precautions before opening and then you have to loosen all four foundation belts foundation bolts hold the weight of the motor using the chain block you need at least a two chain blocks and bottom one you lose little and the top two bolts you remove it completely so now when you are loosening the motor the motor will tends to comes towards you and then what we need to do is you have to see the pulley which is holding the belt moves towards the purifier bowl after that you can push the belt down the belt will come out and then you can uh, remove the belt that's all thank you so after uh, the belt was uh, removed then what we need to do is you have to lift the motor from its place and uh, secure it on the floor so uh, use uh, two chain block to remove the motor from its place because uh, this uh, motor is fitted in a vertical way and once lifted before keeping the motor down we just remove the fan so all we need to do is uh, we have to uh, just uh, loosen all the bolts which is uh, connecting the fan so the reason why uh, we are removing the fan from it place is uh, the fan fins uh, are very very thin and very light and uh, while securing the motor there are chances for the fin to get uh, hit somewhere and damage so to avoid that you have to remove the fins from the place fan from the place and then you can start lifting the motor so that is what we are doing it is a safety part uh, uh, which actually this is not mentioned in manual actually but operational difficulties so this you just do for a safer side only so this i will show you the fan it is very thin and uh, it's aluminium body so 
so very easy chance to get damage when it hit with a stronger uh, side so that's all just uh, secure it somewhere else and now you can uh, start lifting the motor and secure it the motor is now secured and you can see the friction pad is uh, we're going to open the friction pad for inspection so all we need to do is you just need to uh, this is the new friction pad and now we are going to inspect the older one just uh, what you need to do is the basic check is you have to check the thickness of the friction pad if the thickness is gone then you have to renew it so for uh, uh, to just keep the pulley in place you just hold it like how uh, we are holding it and you have to remove the bolt and you can take out the friction pad just take it and you can see whether the piston uh, the friction pad is in a good condition or not that is what I said you have to just check the thickness of the friction pad this friction pad is perfectly okay there is now much worn out so you can fit back it you can fit back it in place and I will show uh, with the reference of the manual how to fit it also that is also uh, maybe that uh, you can easily understand so we are just checking all the three uh, friction pads to check the condition mm, okay we are opening the second one and we do the, the we do the same for the third one also so it is all basically uh, checks for a friction pad the claw and the friction pad thickness that is if it is worn out so much then it is time to change it and I do the same for the third one and the main thing which you need to uh, concentrate keep it in mind before installing the friction pad is the direction of the pad see uh, this is how you have to fit it the rotational part when it is rotating it should be like this you can see in the manual I will show the manual page also mm, yeah this is how you have to fit it you cannot put in the opposite way see the manual page friction block may look different and uh, <coughs> that's all this is how uh, you have to fit the friction block in place and before fitting it up make sure you are uh, putting some coat of uh, copper slip and fix it and i think uh, this video must have given you some idea about uh, how to check uh, alpha level purifier friction block friction pad okay so this alpha level is bit a uh, little uh, complicated to do work with it because uh, if you need to change the block pad you have to remove the entire motor out and you have to do your multiple things to get this thing happened first you have to take uh, remove the belt from place and then you have to remove the motor keep it side and then only you can you can inspect the inspect the friction block and if you want you can change so this uh, vibration is very important means that this uh, little uh, clearance is very important that's what he checked and then finally fit back the uh, fan fan in place so that's all I hope uh, this video must have uh, given you some information about uh, how to uh, change friction pad for a friction block in uh, alpha level purifier if you have any doubt any queries you can put always a comment in comment box definitely have to play you thank you all keep supporting